Be sure to check out my new book, Micro Shelters, available in September, Amazon.com and elsewhere. And coming up in September as well, Tiny House Summer Camp 3. So many guest speakers, so much building, so much going on that we can't fit it all on one flyer. RelaxShacks.com for info. <laughs> hey, I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com at the Tiny House Jamboree 2015, day number two. Quiet here right now, but in probably 30 minutes going to be madness. We are currently, before things get too nutty, with Steve Weissman, Hello. Pancho of the Tumbleweed Tiny House Company. And uh, thank you. For, I know you're setting up things here. Thank you for giving us the time with the of interview. Course. Tumbleweed Tiny House Company, I'm sure if you're into tiny houses in any way, shape, or form, you've heard of them. And Steve's name is pretty much out there very prevalently. He is here with, as I change the angle, with the Tumbleweed Mica 20, and we're going to get a quick tour. Absolutely. So uh, just at the Jamboree here, this is the second day. Day one was a lot of fun. I have never seen so many smiling faces with tiny house enthusiasts in my life. It's been a real blast. So over here we have our Mica 20. And the 20 basically means that the unit is 20 feet long. And people often ask, is this a shipping container home or something like that? And the answer is no. It's a wood frame built RV. And the outside is metal. It's a hot rolled steel, but it's just a cladding on the outside. It's not structural in any way. Okay, yeah, let's move This design's kind of cool because we are able to put this giant sliding glass door in front. Oh, wow, yeah, it's entrance and a heck of a lot of natural light and a view. Yes, and inside here, this is a very modern look. It's sort of like a, a roving dorm room to speak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have, like I said, I just said, but all this natural light, I mean, what a difference this makes in terms of visual space. Absolutely. Here, this little sleeping alcove is pretty cool. And is that, I mean, is that like almost a queen size, full size? That's a queen size sleeping yeah, okay. alcove, yeah. yeah. And then on the walls here, we did something different than on our other units. I'm going to go behind that. you. Normally, we got the pine walls, but uh, here what we did was we put just regular sheetrock. Okay. We hot mudded it so it doesn't crack when you drive. I was wondering that, because, yeah. yeah, otherwise the vibrations on the road, you get those fissures in there. Yeah, so this one's held up pretty good. Okay. Big old window here as well, kind of picture window style. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to show some of the features here. Some pretty ample cabinetry as well. And yep. it's smart using that space over the bed where otherwise it's not like you're standing in the bed unless you know, yeah. things get a little too wild. But uh, you know, some shelving as well. I'm seeing a lot of tiny houses lately where the windows are so small and it kind of bothers me. <laughs> you know, you don't want to feel like you're in some Alcatraz jail cell. But yeah. here you guys have plenty of windows. Yeah, yeah talk about have... talk about the kitchen. Yeah, Sorry. this is a, just a really small kitchen. It's about as small as they get for us. And uh, we got the refrigerator, freezer under the countertop over here. Okay. And uh, you know you got your basic sink. Up here we've got some cabinets for storage. Downstairs goes to down below. I said downstairs, but down below. There's a downstairs. <laughs> you know we use a lot of the space here yeah. for, for your 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 our utilities. And in the corner over here where you can't get to it, that's where the hot water heater is and the water. Oh, cover, all of that okay, stuff. yeah, using up every inch there. Yeah. Cabinetry up above. Uh, talk about the uh, the systems we have up here. So real this quick. here is uh, it's called a mini split, and yep. so on the tongue of the trailer is where we've got the air compressor, and uh, this is a heater and air conditioner all in one. Okay. And what's really cool is because these are so well insulated that in about 10 minutes you can get this to whatever temperature you want. It's actually nice and cool in here already. Yeah. I mean, it's early morning, but still the sun's out, and uh, yeah, yeah, you need to be thankful for that AC later. Yes. Yeah, check out the yeah. bathroom. People kill this me is, if I don't show it. This is the smallest, smallest bathroom that we possibly right. can make. I can try to get in here. No, this isn't bad. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's my camera strap swinging. And then behind us, here's a really small shower. It's, this is it. This is as small as you go. It's 24 by 24. Yeah, but that's not terrible. I mean, you don't need to dance and do yoga in your shower. So, another window here. I like it. Curtain and all, you guys got style, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Even the flowers, look at you, getting your florist side on. <laughs> you picked those this morning, didn't you? <laughs> I, I must confess it's not me. Yeah, all right. I don't right. have such good taste. Yeah, it looks great, man. Um, yeah, thank you so much once again, Steve Weissman, Tumbleweed Tiny House Company. Check him out online as well. And uh, yeah, you guys, the lines have been huge here for the yeah. Tiny House Jamboree. And it looks like you're having fun. Look at that smile on his face. Indeed. All right, thanks, okay. man. Thanks. thanks.